So I thought I would just come up here in a real world situation at the lovely place and show you this uh, little, well actually it's not little, it's the King XL Kindling Cracker. And I'm going to show it to you in a little bit more of a real situation. I'm telling you though, this thing's sturdy and solid. Kindlingcracker.com. It's designed in New Zealand. So I didn't bring my, uh, my big sledgehammer with me today. All I've got is my little guy. Let's see how she does. These are just some little pieces of wood that I cut a few months back. Let's go for it. Nice. Let's make it smaller. Little effort getting me some kindling. And you may know by now if you've been watching the channel, we have now officially purchased two wood stoves. And we've only got one building so far, but we're going to be building another one. And we're going to be installing those wood stoves soon. One of them. getting us a pile here look at that all right let's go with with the grain yeah too late I'm already in there we go don't give up so fast. This will burn. Look at that. Let's crack that in half. Getting somewhere now.
I think my grandson can crack kindling better than me. He was walloping it with this sledgehammer. <laughs> We got us a pile, guys. We are going to be able to build us a fire with no problem at all. Made a little bit of a mess, but nothing that my leaf blower won't clean up. Let's pop this one again. So yeah, lovely people. That was the Kindling Cracker XL. It's called the Kindling Cracker King Firewood Splitter. And it does the job, as you can see. Now, would a uh, hydraulic splitter be better? Yes. In fact, I, I may just have something around the corner coming to you on video. But, what if you're out of uh, the ability to get fuel? What if you have no resources? Well, if you got a sledgehammer and you got this XL King Kindling Cracker, you got a pile of kindling. We want to have the ability to pick up a, a sledgehammer and shove it over a plate and make some firewood. We want to do that with everything that we do up here, whether it's harvesting rainwater, putting solar panels out, not being on grid at all. Anything we can do to be self-sufficient, that's the name of the game, a wood-burning stove. So. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Take care.